All right, y'all, welcome back to Comet Arms Channel. Okay, so today we're doing a little bit of a classic reaction. We are checking out the Spanish Special Forces. Now, I don't think we've checked out any units from Spain yet, at least definitely not like their military or special forces. So again, checking out the military gives us a good idea of what the rest of the military is kind of going to look like, because if the, if the special forces look pretty well equipped, then you can get a pretty good idea of what the rest of the military is going to be looking like. And you can also get a good idea of what Spain sort of focuses on as far as like their different operations. But it looks like this is like a montage kind of video with a bunch of different units. So I'll just get right into it and check it out. It's about seven and a half minutes long. So yeah, it looks like we have a couple units to check out. So let's do it. <laughs> That's the kind of intro you'd expect out of one of these montage videos, huh? Okay. So this looks like their up armored Humvee equivalent. It looks pretty similar too. But so far, it looks like conventional infantry kind of stuff. I didn't think Spain had terrain like this, though. I'm not, I guess I've never really seen the Spanish biomes. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on, talk about a near ambush. They really couldn't see this dude. Okay, so again, this looks pretty similar to just conventional infantry stuff. I mean, you got this dude with what, like a Mosin to get just, <laughs> okay. This dude is sleeping on the gun, clearly. Okay, so this looks very conventional infantry-ish so far. So a little ambush kind of scenario. No one's shooting yet, so I guess they didn't see that dude. Okay, maybe it's because of the music, but I'm not getting a whole lot of violence of action. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting it. All right, that dude looks a little bit more high speed. Oh, those boots are, those boots are a nightmare. <laughs> okay, so these are tack peas, huh? So I guess they're pretty similar to our Air Force tack peas. Okay. I mean, tack peas can be pretty high speed for sure. But I don't think they necessarily shine when it comes to ambushes. I mean, more than any particular unit, I guess. But okay, let's check out the kit real quick. So we have, we see some G36s with some red dot sights, some pretty nice looking plate carriers. Looks a lot better than the stuff you'd see in the US Army, at least the conventional army. Okay, so yeah, G36s, looks like some tack lights. That's some pretty nice helmets. Okay, so we have, they got the strobe on the back, a little bit of an older older model strobe. They got Peltors. They do have sidearms and their holsters actually look pretty solid too. I can't see, it looks like a poss possibly an HK pistol. Okay, so kit looks pretty good. Again, it's Tack Bees doing an ambush, so. Okay. I'm not sure where these montage videos, of course I gotta get the original clips and, and sort of use that to build off, but I wonder where they sort of get this stuff, if it's like motivational stuff or if it's for recruitment sort of purposes. Okay, let's see. These guys look a little bit more lightweight, special operations E. Okay, so. A little bit of a compound here. Okay, I don't know if that's actually supposed to be, I don't know if that's actually what Spain looks like. I think it's just like a deployed environment. <laughs> so we had some spy rigging there. Now we got some Hilo inserts or extracts. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Is that what Spain looks like? If you guys are from Spain, definitely let me know because I've not seen, oh, there's, oh, that night vision looks horrible. <laughs> okay again i don't know how this looks like so this the title says 2020 but the night vision nowadays looks insane this is just hard i don't know they might have just given the camera person like some crappy night vision to try and record with but i hope the rest of the operators don't have that because yeah that night vision looks like it's struggling <laughs> okay so here we got some some medical dudes okay 
it's jumping around a lot. I'm not sure exactly which units. You can kind of see the differences between the units, but not so much. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is definitely the kind of special for... Oh, uh, okay, they're taking him out of there too. How come they... They couldn't drive him back on and then park it? Did it okay, well... All right, so we're seeing some of the helicopters. There you go, the spy rigging. That is a lot of fun. So that stands for Special Patrol Insert and Extract. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, what? Are they fast roping? That must be the... That fast rope doesn't even... Okay, I see what I'm looking at. I'm an idiot. Okay. Okay, so to me, I was thinking this was like a courtyard with like red flooring, I guess. And this was a compound wall. And if that was true, that would be a very, very tall fast rope. Maybe like an 80-foot fast rope. And I'm like, there's no way that fast rope is, is going to reach the bottom with enough length. But okay, this is just a rooftop. And that was just like a weird forced perspective thing. <laughs> okay, yeah, it drops right there. That's funny. That was really messing with my head. Okay, so it's a fast roping. Okay. So, I mean, it's definitely Special Forces kind of stuff, but... Again, the kit isn't going to... I'm not going to try and compare it to, like, U.S. kit, because the U.S. dumps a lot of money into the military. Okay, there you go. That's kind of cool. They get the fast rope onto this, like, repel tower. Oh, okay. These guys definitely look like the more serious bunch as far as like <laughs> rolling around in this stuff. But I don't know, okay, we see some some Safari Land holsters. Let's see what these guys are doing. I guess they're doing a sort of raid, but it's kind of an interesting raid setup, okay. Oh my gosh. I'm not trying to like talk smack, but if you ever see any sort of Special Forces dudes, that are putting their pants inside their boots. I, I don't know. I don't know. Those And those pants look super skinny too. I wonder why they're actually putting it in their boots. I know that, that's a conventional army thing for sure, but if you see any sort of operator, they don't even bother with that. And I don't, honestly, I think it's kind of just like it looks professional. I don't know if it serves any sort of tactical purpose to tuck in your pants like this. Cause I mean, unless you got like some really long pants, it's really not an issue. Okay, so they're doing a ballistic breach. Oh, they got night vision too. Well, at least one of the dudes had night vision. Nice, dang, they're freaking repelling quick. Those guys know what they're doing for sure. Okay, this is pretty sick. Okay, so you have like a multi echelon entry, which it's always good to do entries on multiple floors. Oh, dang, they're moving quick. And they got the canine. This is violence of action if I've ever seen it. <laughs> I kind of like it, that was sweet. Oh, this dude, come on now. This is why you set up a cordon so you could, oh no, I guess they, they want to let the dog do some work, huh? <laughs> this dude just chilling on the machine gun like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna chill here and watch this. Yep, yeah, doing a little, little hog tie, some flexi cuff. All right, who are these guys? So, I, again, we can sort of see the separation in the units. These look like more of the marine operators or like naval operators, potentially. Okay. So we got some sort of maritime style bump helmets. Kind of just like skater helmets, really. It's, there's not a whole lot of difference there. Okay, this is pretty cool stuff. All right, that's pretty cool. I imagine those are kind of like the seals, maybe the seal equivalent, Marsak equivalent. And then who are these guys? These guys kind of look like rangers. Yeah, some some long range recon, maybe. You can just kind of tell because the they're camouflaging everything and they have some massive rucksacks. So far, we haven't seen anything that's too crazy. Again. 
I'm not going to try and compare it to the U.S. military because the U.S. military has a lot of money to spend on technology and equipment and whatnot. So it's, it really boils down to the fundamentals and the sort of capability. So we saw the fast roping, we saw the spy rigging, and now we're seeing some of the maritime stuff. So we're seeing a lot of the capabilities that the U.S. would offer, just not necessarily with the same equipment, which, okay, it's cool. Again, it's nice to have these capabilities. You want special operations to have all these different capabilities for all these different mission sets, especially maritime stuff like this. So let's see, are we gonna have a fast rope in as well? Dang, that helicopter looks kinda old. That looks like a Vietnam kinda helicopter, huh? All right, so we're getting the fast rope in, nice. Oh, what was that? If you guys know the model of the, the helicopters, feel free to let me know, cause it kinda looks like a weird CH-53 kinda helicopter. I'm not really too sure. Okay, nice. So I'll say these like security boats do like work for sure. Because like it, when I was doing op four against the Marine recon dudes, I didn't really consider how much a security boat did, but these guys can really push ahead. So let's say you're trying to board here with a fast rope or, you know, with another craft, these security boats can push up and pretty much lock down all of this with a machine gun because people who are like here thinking about firing on the back of the ship, they're going to regret it because they're going to end up getting lit up by the security boat. So yeah, that security boat definitely does work. And you wouldn't really think to consider how, how useful it is in stopping, you know, those those long threats. All right, so. Okay, all right, we got some snipers. Looks like a 50 cal, maybe an M82. Oh, is that bolt action? Is that an M99? M95? One of those? Okay. Now, I want to see more of the recon stuff. That's that's the stuff I love to see. So we got some G36s with some EOTEX. Okay, dang, I really want to see more of the recon stuff. So if you guys know the specific like recon or long range recon surveillance units from Spain, please let me know. I'm not sure if you guys necessarily even have that because I mean, we, we used to have a long range reconnaissance unit or like LURS, which is long range surveillance and whatnot. Yeah, I think that's what it stood for. But I know in like the Scandinavian countries, you'll usually refer to them as like Jaegers or maybe even Rangers. So if you guys have that in Spain, please let me know what unit that is because I'd like to check out that unit specifically because that's that's really cool. I like to see the sort of bread and butter of the fundamentals as far as like the camouflage and whatnot. But okay, I guess this gave us a little bit of background on the Spanish military. Again, they do have a lot of the capabilities that you'd see with other militaries in the US as far as you know the insert and extract capabilities we saw tactics are very very similar as far as raids, which is stuff that you would see with sort of special operations units. And then we also saw like the special, you know, extract methods. So we saw a lot of the stuff, it looked very similar. Again, the equipment's going to change based off of whatever country you're checking out. So I'm not really too focused on that. It is cool to check out the gear, but it's also cool to sort of see how each country does everything. But again, I don't know if that was like, actually Spanish terrain or if it was like in a forward deployed environment. So if you guys could help me out on that, I would appreciate it. But okay, um, it gave us a good intro to Spain. I'm not sure what units to check out from Spain next. So if you guys have any recommendations, please put it down below because I'd love to hear them. But yeah, if you guys want, if you want to share your experiences, you can do that down in the comment section or you can check out the Discord and share your experiences from the Spanish military there. Because yeah, I haven't heard anyone from I think I've heard like maybe five people total in the comments say that they're from Spain. So if you guys are from Spain, let me know if you're in the Spanish military specifically, let me know how that is. But thank you guys for watching. That is it for this video. I will see you all in the next one.